Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Longland map. Now last time around we got uh, all this business here sorted out in this um, shape. Uh, now uh, what I want to do is connect up through Lake Wobegon for the um, food delivery and uh, link up to the Dog River Food Exchange. And then we'll run a train back and forth between here, Emerald City, no, between uh, Raccoon City and uh, Dog River. And I've been kind of pondering and I'm half thinking that it might not be the worst idea to run a major to run a big couple some big trains around through the dog river uh, station all the way to lake wobegon and down into this operation here uh, and if we did that with naffy's wagons then uh, we could take food and uh, grain in both directions now why would we want to do that i don't know but we can so maybe uh, so what i'm going to do at least initially i'm going to bring the uh, tracks out of emerald city grain hub here and bring it up around uh, the the hill here and past uh, lake uh, will be gone now uh, let's uh, let's just um, no let's just go uh, buildings yeah um, this guy um, now oh good our icons are back um, right okay so <clears throat> this looks like roughly the right place for the station okay we're gonna make that two tracks and we're going to get rid of that right and then we're going to do we make this uh, an extra long station you know, I could, maybe, yeah, I'm going to run long trains through here, but I don't necessarily need to, um, hmm. If I put a 320, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm, am I? Hmm. A 160 here uh, is better. What if I put it here? That's better yet. So if I put it up there, now what happens if that's a 320? Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'll make it 160. If we do 160, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. And this will be... Uh, Lake Wobegon uh, Cargo. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now, we need to run uh, some tracks. Right. Uh, tracks, yes. Okay. Now, from here, uh, what are we going to be uh, doing? Well, we're going to... Uh, where are we headed? We're headed up this way yeah okay right so if we come out kind of like this let's come out level up to that point yeah okay yeah okay now uh we need to beeline across here now if we go level um yeah, that's not going to uh, work so well. So if we do this. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't think we want a uh, viaduct like that. Okay. Okay, where's the snap point? Okay. Well, that allows us to get down. Uh, so I'm playing the beta, and uh, last time around, uh, they had a glitch with the uh, um, uh, bridge selector where you couldn't build an embankment. They have fixed that one. Right. Uh, if that wasn't obvious. Uh, now from here, we go like this. And then we go like this. And yes, we're building a straight track here. Uh, we're building a straight track because that's the thing that makes sense for this. Right. Good. We have a track there. We need the other track. Yeah, we kind of do. There we go. Now, we need to get from here. Well, let's uh, come out of here level. Uh, right, okay. Now, if we come around like this, then we can come around, well, we can keep coming around like this. Ah. Now, if we do this, well, we stay at 100. That's, uh, yeah, it's tolerable. And I think I connected that around to the wrong one. Did I? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, then you should go and get this business connected up. Right. Okay. So we have a track up there to Lake Wobegon. Now, uh, we need to also run through like this. And I discovered a way to make less bad crossings here. Or uh, if you just do the bit at the crossing and then connect it up, you don't get the bumpy crossing effect. Uh, or at least you don't get it all the time. Uh, right. Uh, okay, yeah. We, so we got another one. Do the crossing. It, you still get it sometimes, but... Uh, that gives us much, uh, much less um, janky crossings, right? And that's uh, that's kind of the uh, the plan there. Now we need to get up to Dog River, which means we're coming up along the edge of the map up to Dog River there. Um, right. I think we want to come up along here. Okay. Yeah. We'll let it go up. Yeah. Uh, up, up, yeah, up, yeah, eh, this might not have been the ideal uh, path to take. But it's the path we're taking. Uh, we're going to get a uh, tunnel there. Uh, what happens if we do this? Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, okay, and then we need to come here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we have a long bit of windy track. I kind of like the uh, windy path here, so I'm not going to rejigger it or anything. Right. Okay, we have that. And we're good here. Now, we need to... Yeah, I'm going to need to do a uh, double track. Huh. 
Huh. Yeah. So if we do this, and we do this, yeah. Okay. Okay, we have connected it. Good. Okay. Right. We have this. Okay, what are we going to need to do here? We're going to need to configure this and add uh, a second track to it. Yep. And a platform. Nope. Do this. Yep. Okay. Tracks. Tracks. Yes. Okay. You have tracks. Good. And then this comes out here. And we can come up around like this. And we can do this. Yep. Okay, and then we can come up. Right. Okay. We're obviously going to need a better train there. Uh, let's um, let's uh, do this. Okay, now we're going to come in like this, okay, then we're going to do this, yeah, good, okay, now what do we do, put a crossover in. Yep. We have a crossover. Yay! Uh, right. Now, uh, I think we need to uh, chuck some signals in here. Uh, just because, And we're going to end up uh, breaking the, the line that we're just messing with by doing this. Yep. This is perhaps not going to be the most efficient ever line, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, I think it's going to involve running a positively ridiculous number of trains on it because of the length. Now, we do have almost 500 million in the bank, so that's not going to be uh, too much of a problem. Uh, so we just need to get all of these... Um, um, uh, signals in. I'm putting as many as I am so we can have fairly dense train traffic on this, uh, this line. As I suspect it's going to be uh, used as a main line for some other stuff as well. Okay, we've gotten past Lake Wopigon. Right. Oh, this is uh, an interesting uh, uh, effect we have going on here. Uh, let's take that out and do it better. Yeah, that didn't snap properly. There we go. Now, tracks. Do this. Do 
this. Right. Do this. Yeah. Then do this. Yes. And we have this. Right. Good. What? What does it mean too much slope? Ah, who knows? That was kind of bizarre. Right. Okay. Finish putting your signals up. Okay. Here. And here. And here. And here. Yep. Okay, now, um, right, we have, okay, good, that's got some stuff going on here, and I might, I might want to rejigger that at some point, but I'm not going to, uh, what we're going to do, is come up here right okay we're gonna go here and we're gonna grab this manage uh, this is gonna get a replacement now um, we don't have diesel but we do have steam and we have the uh, OB, which does 441 and 95. Um, is the PLM better? Um, yeah, we'll add that and then we'll go cargo. And we have a Naffy State car which carries four. Yeah. So we're up to two twenty five meters. Okay, we can get a two hundred and uh, 95 meter train in here uh, and still be mediocre. Yeah. With a 160 capacity compared to 160. Okay. So we're going to replace that. Yep. And we're also going to one, two, three. I think we're gonna need lots of trains on there. I'm gonna I'm gonna put ten of them on there. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, manage the line. So we go uh, Dog River Food Spur. Then we go over to here, and then we go over to uh, here. And then we go back over to here. And then we can come back over to here. And then this is going to need track two. And that's going to need track two, I suspect. We can't get to Lake Wobegon Cargo. I've got a broken connection somewhere along the way here. Uh, 
Okay, where is the where's the break or the bad signal? There's the bad signal. Okay. Now, get this, get this back. Okay, now it's showing, okay, what's the complaint here? Train 69, reverse. Okay, now. Uh, we're going to have a train come in there. Uh, where are the other trains coming from? Go in here. Um, well, let's just jump on board this one here, and uh, and we'll see what it's uh, what it's doing here. We've clearly got something of a long uh, long trip going here. We're heading for Dog River Food Exchange. Okay, where are we? Well, that is a question. Where are we? So it does feel like the uh, performance of the game has improved a bit uh, with this latest beta. That it was released um, yesterday as I'm recording this, I think. Well, in the past couple days. Um... And the uh, release notes suggest the past couple of betas have had uh, improvements in uh, game engine uh, uh, design. So the simulation is uh, a little bit uh, better tuned for the, uh, for the number of cores people might have. Oh, I see where we are. We're coming in the long way around here. So we created a traffic jam launching these uh, nine trains here. Which is fine. We can have a traffic jam all we want. Uh, right. So we're here. Yeah. Well, things are... Uh, are proceeding apace here at least. Now as far as these um, overloaded platforms, I'm going to leave them like that until I have much better trains in the 1950s or 1960s. Uh, that will uh, then allow us to do much better throughput with less um, less uh, less trains. Uh, and that's, uh, that's a key uh, factor there in uh, the decision making. But anyway, the reasoning I use here is we need to drop off food at, uh, for Dog River. Uh, we also need to drop off grain for the food processing plant here and shunt it back this way. Uh, we need to drop off food at Lake Wobegon. And uh, we need to uh, collect... Uh, food from here and drop grain off here. That's the uh, the reasoning for the line as it stands. Now, as far as uh, whether that's going to pan out or I'm going to have to do something different, I don't know yet. So that's why I'm doing it, right? Uh, just to find out uh, what the uh, situation really is. Um, 
yeah so it'll it'll take a moment to bed in now in the meantime uh what uh what is there to uh, check on over in this this part well at some point we'll need to do some shunting with that farm or, or food processing plant but that's not so critical now we've got a line coming up here uh, if we were to put a connection uh, from here, we could use this track, which comes up around here, to deliver food into uh, pork belly and duckburg, and then continue around down through into uh, Gotham City and metropolis i think that'll work so let's um let's look at putting a uh a uh whatchamacallit a thing in over here uh yeah yeah it's it's a it's a thing all right well uh, there is something we can do here. We can take a thing off here. Um, yeah, so if we did that, do we get down to ground level in a uh, good spot? Too much curvature. Okay, well, that's not going to work. Uh, from here, maybe? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. I zoned out for a minute there. Uh, right, so we have a loop there, and then we're going to need a ramp here. Uh, too much slope. Uh, okay, well, we can do that. How, how egregious is that? Uh, I suppose it can do right okay well that uh, that gets those two things connected yeah uh, okay so now we need a signal or two on here like here and here um, okay I think that gets us uh, the connection point but that's, uh, that's all I'm going to do this time, actually. Uh, the reason for that is uh, I, I don't want to get stuck in too far with stuff at this stage of the game. And, uh, you know, then have another three-hour episode or something like that. I say another, but I haven't really had a three-hour episode. But I want to avoid that. So I'm going to do that and avoid zoning out. Uh, yeah. I don't know how long I zoned out for there, but uh, I did. I blame the uh, heat dome, as they're calling it, uh, which, uh, near as I can tell, is just the fashionable name for a, uh, how did I put it in the one form, a mother bleeping huge uh, high pressure system. Now, that's basically what it is. Right. Anyway, I'm going to put the cut here, and then next time around, I should finish the uh, food deliveries to, uh, to the remainder of the map. Now, uh, I guess uh, I should leave you with a, uh, a, a useful thought. Uh, how about stay healthy? Yeah, always good advice, isn't it? And yeah, I guess, you know, you can like and comment and subscribe and hit the bell and even dislike if you prefer. And, you know, it's all good. Uh, you do what you feel is necessary. And, uh, you know, I won't really care one way or the other. But, you know, if you like the stuff, great. If you don't like the stuff, that's fine, too. Why are you watching it if you don't like it? Well, anyway, uh, that's, uh, that's going to be it. So see you back next time.